what is going on guys welcome back to channel critical overlord here so this will be another video for scream 6 and in this video i'm going to be talking about yes as you see in the thumbnail how Stu mocker can make an appearance in scream 6 without being alive even though i know people are not going to watch they're just going to go straight to the comment section oh he's dead but uh just to jump right on into it, i need to shout out these two reddit users really quick embarrassed tough 55 and also the Shawshank e erection shout out to you too because I'm going to be incorporating some of what you brought up over on reddit into my theory here today so with scream 6 we know that we can expect some characters that we didn't see in screen 5 to appear a lot of us are expecting Leslie Mocker we're expecting Christina Carpenter and yeah though I think those are the two primary ones but let's say that in scream 6 the overall motive this time around is someone who is not a fan of the stab franchise they're also not a fan of how cinema exploits real world tragedies to line up the pockets of filmmakers those involved with said films etc uh, they're not a big fan of that they're also not a fan of how innocent people seem to keep dying because of individuals like sydney prescott gail weathers and now sam and tara carpenter chad and mindy meeks martin now and these people, while again, they're not actively doing anything, they're they're considered not innocent in the eyes of this individual who is going to be my killer that I'm going to get to in a second. They also want to eliminate these individuals because they are loose ends. They think that by eliminating any and all potential survivors, you will put an end to the ghost face killing sprees that keep on affecting and impacting innocent people, which in this case for this person, again, will not include any of the survivors they are targeting. Since every time there's a killing spree that rises, it has to do with them, even though you again and of yourself are making it about them. So who is this individual? This individual that I'm thinking of, yes, would be Leslie Mocker. Leslie Mocker could be a character that we have implemented into Scream 6, utilized in a way similar to how Debbie Salt was used, and then be a big revelation in the end that this is Stu Mocker's sister. And we could learn a lot of stuff from this individual. We have not heard how the Mocker family really was impacted by the events of Scream 1996. We have heard all of this stuff about Loomis this, Loomis that, all these affairs that went on between Hank and learning that uh, Mrs. Loomis left because of that affair. We learned a lot of details about the Loomis family, but we rarely hear stuff about the mockers outside of now knowing that Stu has a sister and he has a nephew. So this sister, again, I'm considering this killer would be Leslie Mocker. She could be, again, an individual coming from a place of she's tired of real world tragedies being exploited for cinema uh and then and the entertainment of others not a big supporter of the staff franchise this could be a way to commentate on that on that type of aspect of filmmaking too watching movies based on real world events what does that say about you as a viewer etc maybe something that makes you self-reflect as you're watching the movie even though it's not based on again real world events <laughs> but we know there's a lot of things out there that do that this is also a woman who of course would be heartbroken because she's now lost her son to another ghost face killing spree this is also a woman who's wanting to capitalize on the fact that again she's been around since day one when her brother was the one behind it all and she saw how fast these other killing sprees came when someone was trying to target sydney prescott so now that the narrative has shifted over to sam carpenter there's got to be somebody else out there that wants to go after sam and her sister right so why not get ahead of the curve why not take them all out since you already have a grudge against them to begin with and you want to clear up any and all loose ends to put an end to this once and for all uh again this could be someone who is not a fan of the cinema exploitation they're not a fan also of how these survivors seem to keep on benefiting from all of these real world tragedies even though some of them we know have not wanted to like a sydney prescott who has done a lot of what she could to stay out of the public eye but she's still a celebrity but now she's also written a book so that to leslie mocker be her way of benefiting off of tragedies in the real world gail weathers who we know is also someone who for a lot of it has wanted to benefit from it and does not mind it whatsoever and then you can incorporate those individuals that we now have the new characters, Sam, Tara Carpenter, Chad and Mindy. How are they benefiting from it? Even Kirby, who seems to be doing interviews um, on what she's went through. So all of these people who are benefiting from these tragedies, 
Meanwhile, a family like the Mockers, who again, probably got ran out of Woodsboro. Let's pretend that happened. They got ran out of Woodsboro by relatives and neighbors who took out all their anger about what Stu had done on them, which ultimately led to them leaving town. They were never the same, mentally unstable, marriage fell apart. Their daughter watched that all unfold tried to raise their son away from it all with this man schneider she married at a very young age and had a son with and she could express all this in a post ghostface mask reveal when she's explaining why she's doing this and in this could be a way for us to have matthew lillard reprise his role of Stu mocker how you do that would be again just by her giving some type of monologue and then have a visual to play out of what she's imagining in her head of her life with her brother if he was still around and that's where you could have matthew lillard who doesn't have to be de-aged at all for this it could just be her reminiscing on how her life could have been if she had been a better sister something about just how regretful and how she might blame herself in ways for what Stu did and how Stu ended up with the whole billy loomis scenario he got involved in and that's something that could be used to get Stu mockers to appear on screen not to say that's what satisfied most people most of them want Stu to be alive <laughs> i'm just thinking about the easiest simplest way to have matthew lillard back similar to how skeet Ulrich came back for screen five so i think that would be something that a lot of people could get behind but i also know that most of that sounds like something you would save for scream seven since, you, since it would involve someone wanting to tie up loose ends and put an end to people benefiting from these real world tragedies who's not a fan of the Stab franchise who who I also could say if you wanted to poke it poking fun at the fandom in their theories they could make it seem like they are they themselves are Stu Mocker make it seem like Stu Mocker is somehow alive to mislead not only your audience but to also mislead those investigating the new Ghostface Killing Spree in Scream 6. So I know a lot of people will probably comment saying this sounds more like a final film scenario, but I've also seen people talk about the idea of Leslie Mocker being the killer. So I just want to come out here and share my thoughts on it and how that could be used to, again, give Matthew Lillard a chance to reprise his role as Stu Mocker. Just have a character who is heartbroken, who is tired of the Stab franchise. She's also tired of all, all these survivors attracting all these killers and benefiting from it while everyone else who's innocent in their eyes just doesn't. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course and if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video